We're here uh, this morning to uh, celebrate the official grand opening of the first phase of the St. Petersburg College Natural Habitat Park and Environmental Center. It's a project, a laboratory for academic learning and research in the sciences, for quiet reflection in all the disciplines, and passive recreation for both the campus and the local community. We look out on this great preserve and what a great project. Um, the college came to Congressman Young a few years ago and had this idea, had a concept for this, and he said, sounds good to me, Let's. how do we help? And as Dr. Oliver said, he provided a little federal money, which is your money he's bringing back home here and you get to see the results of it today. So thanks for letting us be part of it. Ken, thank you for, on behalf of the board, I think you were part of the project, the team that brought that project to us, and thank you for doing that. And we're here to be a part of, a partner and a helper in this whole project. Dr. Law, we want to work with you on some new projects in your tenure, and stay in touch with us. Thank you for letting us be here. Thank you for letting us be a partner. Uh, we are very proud to have an ongoing, long-term partnership with St. Petersburg College. Our partnership is uh, deep, it runs deep, it runs sincere. We contribute $100,000 to this project, and finally, after three and a half years, uh, once you, Dr. Oliver came in front of City Council three and a half years ago to uh, present this, and here we are today. So, it's a beautiful day in the City of Seminole. Thank you very much. This project was done in what we call top-down construction, to be as sensitive as possible to the environment. And through this con method of construction, the only thing that touches the ground are the workmen, as the equipment sits on previously constructed boardwalk and not directly on the ground. As such, environmentally sensitive areas and its plant and wildlife are further protected. So thank you, A.D. Morgan, very much for taking the extra effort and providing us this construction method, which helped us keep this absolutely gorgeous uh, environment. Um, just a few other things. There's a sculpture sitting out here that you'll see um, this morning as you walk by. That is from the Gulf Coast Museum of Art collection that we brought over to the college. It's called Kapu, and it's a, the name. It means gateway. So I think that's an appropriate sculpture for this. Um, and of course, there's a butterfly garden out there, which continues to keep uh, focus on the sustainability and the environment. Uh, last but not least, in terms of speakers, uh, it, it is a great pleasure to introduce somebody who's a great friend of students, and we'll talk about them in a minute, uh, and a great friend of the environment. Came in in June uh, and uh, immediately embraced this project, was excited about it, and he's here to spend, uh, spend some time with us this morning and a couple of words from our president, Dr. Bill Law. First of all, welcome. The, uh, you know my, my line is always the same. When, when a, an education institution, when a college like ours can open our doors and have the community visit us, People who are not our students, and our wonderful students are here, we would expect that. But when the community can come aboard our campus and find something of value and beauty and encouragement, it makes our day. So thank you all for being here this morning. Now Jim, this is the most eclectic campus in America. There is something for everybody. We've got university partners, we've got baccalaureate degrees, we've got community libraries, we've got, there is something for everybody. Jim has just done uh, a magnificent job. But I will tell you, this particular project, I think, is the winning strategy. And here's the, the criteria I use. When your in-laws or your family comes to visit at Thanksgiving, and after you've eaten, you say to them, let's get in the car. I want to drive out to the campus to show you something really nice in our community. And it will be a destination for you and your family and uh, your grandkids and, and others who come to visit our community. So Jim, thank you for all you do. Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, Harry, everyone, congratulations. Thank you for being here. Let's have a great day. Thank you. One, two, and three. Good night. Good night. Here at the at the end of the trail, as, as we uh, have it right now, at this phase one, uh, the, uh, the, the nodes, the connection nodes, and it really is kind of a, a place away. It's into the woodlands. When you get this far, uh, you really kind of forget you're on campus. And so it's been a great day today and a great opportunity to, to showcase this outdoor laboratory and place for a quiet reflection. Happy trails to you until we meet again.
again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you till we meet again.